this whole time I thought it was like muffled sounds from the mic but it's really just the background of, background of the water all right let's see what we've got today it's a little late for me to be playing but situations occurred and you know things happen which is okay you know? No, I ain't never been with a body. <coughs> Things like, what is this game? Fortnite? What was it the low time? Pick up Burst Movie Box Reverse. Review Steve's contracts. Here first. Top of the morning, PO. Complaints in Monday mornings. The perfect combo. Pio, a good frame screen. Right. Take it away, Bert. Morning, JR. I'm afraid it's a pet peeve from me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. <laughs> Loud and clear, Bert. Just like today's weather. We're starting the week sunny, but a few clouds will appear closer to the afternoon. Violet it. Nice. Next location. I don't even be reading the streets, to be honest. Or the numbers, actually. I just go take a guess. I'm pretty sure this one is right here. 101. East First Street. Is that? Uh. Oh, okay. I thought it was like the store. Forgive me, I thought I heard some stuff. That's not even where the doorbell is, shorty. No, no answer. No, I ain't never been with a body. Never been with a body. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Alright, so we're gonna stop autopilot now. Take control of the wheel. Oh, come on, Swift. Fast X. Uh -huh. So we just gotta pick up the movie box. It's fairly easy. Where's bro at now? He's sitting in the water? Oh, I was about to say, this man's a fisherman for real. I'm guessing I gotta go up. Where are you at today, sir? By the water. 
Can I fish? Oh, I could just. Oh, but I say I might just get a. Dang, you have it all by the fish? Oh, pet. Oh, no. No, they didn't. That's pretty cool. This man has the movie set right by the fishes. I'm gonna return it to Shorty. Smell it like. Hi there, Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. Took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. I saw it in the theater at the time. Pretty exciting. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. Alright. Package secured. And we're on our way. I never been with a buddy. Alright. Oh, I could just actually fast travel to here and go straight. Believe. I like visiting these people. They always got some stories. Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Did he have too much of the stuff that makes you feel funny? Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I have no idea how that happened. Oh, hold on, Mickey's got to read this. Mickey, wake up, honey. Leave me alone, I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh. Right, yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Oh, Our last night here. Yeah. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two. You know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome! Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. I'd be mad if I by mistake pressed something else, which has happened before, but then it kind of always leads back to the same, like they'll give you options, but you eventually sometimes say like all the options, you know what I mean? So it's like, 
Ah oh, man, a motel pack. Oh shoot. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to. Wait, what? Why is it flag here? Oh, is that the autopilot sign? Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, place waypoint and we want to fast travel. Again, bro, with the game. We're not saying nothing this time. Excuse me, what's this all about? It's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Okay. Gonna be respectful. I'll take that into account for next time. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Oh, interesting. I work in computers too. Delivering computers does not mean that you work in computers. No, this is just my temporary job. Yeah, this is temporary for me too. Excuse me, but I have to get this done. Got mail? No? Then why are you still here? Alright, well. Now we got 103 High Street. I literally just looked at my phone for the time like I'm not on a PC a double monitor and the time is not in my face I'm wilding right now can I talk to um see what you got going on wanna know a fun history fact? the first automobile was built in 1769 and was steam powered Hey, that's exactly what I need to know. I got off the car just to hear that, you know. We need it. Now we up. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Facts, man. There's a lot of facts in this world. Get a little mail action. Now we need 100 street. Is that a mail for me actually? I think so. Oh wait, this is not my crib. I think my yeah, my crib's the next one.
Um, okay. We gotta go back to the movies so we get fast travel here. I see what um is there any situation because this girl was acting strange last time. That's her whip, probably. Come on in, we have no arrivals, Cap. Play the same spot, same everything. <laughs> hey, here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. You do. Apology? What you For what? Doing? I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. Apology accepted. Let's move on. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. I'm sure it'll be fine. Chin up. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. Wow, pretty cool perk. It is, isn't it? So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? I'd yeah. love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I'm so excited. I love going to the movies. Me too, but I'll be falling asleep. No, I don't really love going to the movies, but I'll be falling asleep in them though. Wait, but we're still missing movie day with energy reviews these contracts. Probably could be able to do that right now. Hopefully. We gotta review contracts and watch some movies. Oh, I th oh, this is the contract right here. Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. It was a normal day. Nothing special. Okay. Your mom and I are waiting for the hotel bar to open. Thought we'd check in on you. Living it up, huh? Are you boozing every evening? <laughs> Easy now. It's just a nice convenience. We found a payphone at this bar. Oh, Mom's poking me. I guess she's mad. I blew her cover. Here she comes. Hey, Meredith. Hey, my body now. hurt a little bit. We will only have one or two drinks. Cap. Hi, Mom. It's okay, Mom. I like a drink every now and then as well. Alcohol is fine, but I'm changing the subject. Have you met the new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. Who the He's heck is that? A oh. Unique character. <laughs> unique. <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.?
It's nice. I met some the interesting people. Nice That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interesting? I think you could say interesting, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, that's so nice to hear. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. Hey, relax. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. Got him. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's <laughs> open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama Slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Crazy. Alabama Slammers! Cheers! Oh, that boy is lit. Oh. This is fun! It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? Okay. You pick. You're the expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose. The choice of innocent eyes. Alright, let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or The Great Mouse Detective. At least give Here's me some guidance, some guidance uh, though, like... What do you know about the Big Trouble? What do you know about Big Trouble in Little China? It's supposed to be a pretty good ass-kicking. Most John Carpenter movies are pretty exciting, at least. He's the guy who made Halloween and The Thing. Nothing too deep, but should be entertaining. What's Blue Velvet about? Apparently it's noir, with a surrealist twist. I once saw a film by this director called Eraserhead, no. which was, well, weird. Unsettling, too. From what I've heard, this new one is quite... memorable, as well. Heard anything about the, the Great blue Mouse velvet? Detective? It is <laughs> Disney movie, Mouse Detective. What do you need? A road map? All right, I'm ready to pick. Blue velvet. Blue velvet. Already there. Good choice. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. I mean, I'm kind of speechless. That's it. And that's rare for me. It certainly was something. I loved it. And I never want to see it ever again. <laughs> yeah, that about covers it. It's certainly singular. At one point, I did begin to wonder, do you think Providence Oaks has a seedy underbelly? Don't think so. Haven't found any ears lying around during my rounds. <laughs> well, give it time. So anyway, my parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. Yeah, let's move! You can't take anything seriously, can you? I'm sorry, still stuck in that movie vibe. Next time we'll do something in your area of expertise. You mean driving around in a mail truck? Sure. Park it anywhere around the lake, and then just enjoy the sunset. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a I didn't even hear her say that. So, here we are. Now what? Oh, yeah. Well, we yeah. could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. <gasps> Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm going I for it. I think we know what that creepy Frank Booth character would be thinking right about now. Holy smokes, I got my money up. Holy smokes. 
Meredith, can I bug you for a second? Sure, Frank. What's up? That Walter Morgan guy, uh, what did he want from you? Uh, nothing special. He asked if I was settling in all right. Oh, okay, good. So, nothing about me, right? Well, he did ask about your enemies. I'm not gonna lie to him. God damn it! Can you believe that jerk? Are you in trouble, Frank? Trouble? <laughs> They're the ones who are in trouble. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. Wait, I forgot to, um... Well, I guess I did, did do the contracts on water. Okay, so... Dang! All of our things are local today. Okay, except this mold diner. And Robert, what's today? What we gotta do today? Talk to Robert. Alright, well... That's it for a day. What's, what day is it? Day... Sheesh. Day 9? Or... Monday the 8th? Got that situated. <laughs> you know. Now it's time to hit the hay. And I shall be back. Uh, soon. Soon as I think. Later.